Buggies, what is up? I am Jester De Rama. You know who I am, hopefully. But if you don't, hello, it's nice to meet you, new person. So, this is going to be a bit more of an experimental segment on my channel. Just some heart to heart. It's pretty much where it's kind of like the phrase, I'm directly saying how I'm feeling to you guys. And I'm not asking you guys to be my therapist or a pity party, but I'm just wanting to lay things out because I feel saying how I'm feeling might be a better way to help us connect in general. To be honest, I have been worried about thoughts of doubt and jealousy. You know, it's that I feel like I want to make things and, you know, I've kind of made this kind of video before for those of you who have stuck with me. And I'm still thankful that you are here because you are so very awesome for doing so. But I feel like I'm in a situation where my creative content isn't where I want it to be. Like I would think 11 years ago when I started on YouTube initially on my other channel... I was trying to just do something for the furry fandom, you know, just say, hey, I'm a representative and I'm here to help guide you on things about the fandom. And that was my original plan for YouTube because I saw that there was a bit of misinformation that was going around and I was wanting to find a way to say, hey, there's some things you should know and there's some things that are maybe not your ideal thing to hear about but there are things that should help you understand but that was my other channel when i came up with this channel the jester de rama channel which had my new well username my new persona i thought i want to make a variety channel i want to be able to do so much but my ambition didn't meet with the energy of committing to making things. I mean, I'm in a situation right now in my, I want to say it's anxiety and depression, but I don't know for sure. That's keeping me from feeling confident enough to post videos on this account, my other channel, and the Ponies with Pockets channel. I feel like it's not good enough, and I I don't feel good enough. Now you all, I'm, I trust you. You will, I will, I'll trust you in saying, no, Jester, you're a pretty nice guy. You're a pretty good guy. You're a fun guy I like to hang out with or chat with or stuff like that. You know, like on Discord or in Twitch. Yeah, and I will have to say that just for the moment. Any links to be in touch with me are down below in the description of the video. So, it's Discord, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter. I'm basically everywhere because I wanted to be connected and see how I could work that out. I wanted to be connected in general, but I feel like I may be not mentally capable of being what I want to be. And... On that note of mentality, I want to add that right now I am on medication, but I don't feel like I'm at the right spot in my medication for, well, being how I really want to be. I want to feel motivated and energetic again. But honestly, you've seen me do all the streams and everything, and those have bursts of energy from me whether it's myself or more recently as the doctor, but it's just, I feel like I can only do it and then nothing will come after it, even though I wanted to treat YouTube as an archive for my streams, but I haven't really been keeping up on that too well at all. So I do apologize, but you, a lot of you will say, go and do what you need to do. Get yourself better. It's okay. And thank you for saying that. And I know there are plenty of you who would say, for me to get the help I need to get help with. Get me the help I need to get. That's what I was trying to say. But here's a thing about the mental thing that I was trying to say just a moment ago. I am fully 
employed or not no i'm not fully employed not yet um i'm a full-time contractor at my one company that i'm working at warren scout mounts but i'm not a full-on employee of warren and the thing is on my contractor benefits unless i pay even more than what i am for getting medical coverage I don't get mental health coverage very well. It's, I don't get good mental health coverage, and I already have enough freaking bills to pay to begin with. Yeah, adult life. Fun. Oop, and I hit the microphone just like I do every time. Yeah, good times. So, I'm just stuck here waiting, just going like, okay, I'm not at my best, I'm okay, but I could be better. Uh, how long do I need to wait until I'm hired on to the company? That's just sitting in my head. That's the, what I'm feeling like. It's like, when do I get what I need to get in order to get better? I feel like, and I'll be honest, and I'm going to say I'll be honest when I mean something straight out. I'll be honest. I don't feel like my Let's Plays on YouTube will be able to get much attention in different ways. Not because of a user thing, well, maybe not just because of a user thing. I don't know for sure, but when I mix the algorithms and people who have preferences, I feel like there's something there that doesn't help me stand out as a individual, as an individual. Sorry, let me correct my grammar. I feel like as a Let's Player, there's nothing really there much about me that helps me stick out. And therefore, I'm just another head in a crowd of many people who are also trying to get their dream of going, hey, I'm a Let's Player. I want to get things. I want to play games. I want to enjoy things with people. I want to get out there. I want to be just a fun old dude. Yeah, there are tons of people out there who are a lot more energetic than I have been. And I just feel like shit because I haven't been able to really keep up with a lot of my game stuff. But when I look at my videos and views and likes i see only likes and that's great but i just see maybe 30 views and this is a channel that has 3642 subscribers last i checked about like maybe an hour ago and which would be about 3 30 p.m pacific standard time on the 24th of november so I've been at that number for a year, at least. I've been floating around that number for at least a year, and I can understand it that that's partially because I don't produce enough content or produce much content. But if I was going to be doing something for views, I would be needing to constantly put out content, maybe almost every day if I was going to be able to get some kind of notice. But... Even when I do have a pattern of getting some stuff posted, it doesn't really quite feel like it's getting the attention that should be there. I mean, some of you who do support me and you find this, it's great. But it's like, you might have your preferences and might not be interested in what I have. That's okay. I understand. I'm not for everybody. And I always try and iterate. I don't want to use iterate too much. But I will use this in this case. I always try to iterate that you have the free choice to like me, share me, subscribe to me, donate to me, pretty much anything. I don't want to make you feel like you're forced to or make it seem like a, some kind of sales pitch. Because as much as YouTube is the you of the tube that you're watching, mm, yeah, right over here, yeah, this... This frame, let me just try and get in my uh, camera's view because I'm referring to an image on my screen which helps me see where I'm at. Yeah, this whole video right here, this amazing video, this feels like it won't get connected to people very well or very much. And YouTube's algorithms, they're no help. So the reason I've been on Twitch consistently though is because I get more interactivity over there and I feel like I get a bit more support from the community 
in general. And I don't mean that the YouTube community is bad. I just mean that Twitch is set up better for communities than YouTube is. Microphone, why are you in the way? Oh, yeah, because I need to be heard. I have a voice. It must be heard. And I hope you're hearing and listening because this is important, I feel. At least this... Yeah, this series is going to probably be important to me a little bit. But I tried doing this before, just another update, but it feels like it wouldn't exactly fit. So I'm just at a point where I'm going to try and see if I can keep up to date with you guys and talk about things more. But if you have any questions or comments for me that you want me to address in another video, just feel free to just say something down there. But... Um, let me get back to the subscriber amount. I mean, subscriber count means nothing, is what they usually say. But, I initially got a lot of subscribers when I hopped on the Five Nights at Freddy's thing, and that got me a lot of subscribers pretty quickly, and since then, even when I post stuff that's in the trend of games, I don't really get much viewership or community. And I want to feel con like I can be involved in something that'll keep me connected, but when I'm involved involved in something that doesn't f help me feel connected, I feel like I'm just left out, and it's like, how, mu how much do I need to do, or how long do I need to try and do something a certain way before I can get connected in the community? And it has been suggested to me to collaborate more, and I'll... I... I was a little standoffish at first because I have social, I have social anxiety that I try to deal with, and it makes me put things off socially. And I don't mean that because it's a convenience thing for me. It's because my mental state isn't ideal, and I've it, I've said that my mental state could be better, and I'm trying to get better. I want to get better, but. I'm just here trying to do what I think I love and hope that I can find a community to connect to. And if you want to do any collaborations, like anything together, I am hosting occasional streams that are Gamiac streams. If you're a Gamiac, that means you are involved in some form of a Gamiac video. Gamiac is my group idea for connecting with people both in the apartment uh, my little brother and boyfriend when we did the total game yaks initially since we're the original three game yaks <laughs> um i have been wanting to get more people involved in online game yaks on my end so it'd be like you hear this nice little chiptune intro and then it has me saying online game yaks you know nice and dramatic and I'm wanting, I wanted to think that was, and I'm wanting to think that that's a great idea for helping me get connected with people because it's at my pace and it's in my realm. So it's, uh, I feel like I get the home advantage of knowing how to be comfortable with what I want to do. And it helps me learn. I think I'm just a little bit, um, what's the word? Apprehensive, maybe? I'm a little bit apprehensive on working with other people sometimes because I feel like I don't I don't know them well enough or it'll be like a situation where we won't hit it off so well. We won't exactly have a great um, dynamic. And it shouldn't all be all about the dynamics and, you know, just doing something for the views. That's why I was trying to iterate again with that word. I use words repeatedly when I'm nervous. And that's the thing I want you guys to know is that when I reuse a word, I'm doing it because I'm trying to fill in the gap and I'm nervous in how I'm projecting. But I'm just trying to think, where do I go to to know that to guarantee I'll find a good person to collaborate with? And like maybe ask my friends, you know, Cephas, um, he's a colleague and friend colleague in the uh, video or sorry colleague in the voice area since we both do voices for points of pockets productions but 
I think if if collaborating will help get me connected more, then sure, I'll go for it. But I don't want to do it as a way of just getting the views and subscriptions, but it's, it's it feels like this is a catch-22. Like, I want to be able to have fun and present something and connect with people, but there's the concern of how much is it going to bring me. I mean, I shouldn't be concerned about how much it's going to pay, but it's like, how long do you try and force yourself to work? You know what? I shouldn't say force myself to work because I feel like I am forcing myself to work on doing videos and it's like, I'm doing this like feel like for a small crowd and I feel like I'm letting them down if I don't do something, but I'm also letting myself down by not doing anything. And I want to just, I want to be successful really in just what I do. And I have a day job and this isn't the full-time job that it can be. So I'm just working four days a week, 10 hours a day to get a three day weekend. But I just feel like I waste time because I'm just so nervous and anxious and depressed that I don't want to do anything unless it's just a Twitch stream. Because when it comes to Twitch, I just feel like, Oh, Hey, I feel like I got some life going. We, we got something going and my Twitch streams aren't always active. That's okay. But I try to make sure I can stick with it and just have something to just share with people and have fun. I mean, that was the idea was that I wanted to have a channel that would be shared for various reasons and various connectivity. But then again, I guess that's what my Discord server is doing now because I have so many channels on there. So yeah, join the bug hive. It's linked below too in the description. So if you want to say hey or just even shoot me a message, you can just... You don't have to stay in the server. You can just drop a line and say, hey, I love what you're doing. I hope you have a great day because I hope I would want to say the same to you because I want to try and be inspirational, but I don't feel like I inspire myself enough to actually do things. I mean, you know what? Give me just a moment. You can't see what I have really quick, but I'll show you. Um, No wrong window. All right, Discord, let's go. So give me just a second. I have a specific place for this. And let me guess just a second to, you know, I'm doing this live so you know how I do these things. I'm using OBS right now, so it allows me to quickly make whatever I need. Quickly, quickly do whatever I need. Oh, right, you know what? No, that wasn't a good one. Um, remove. That's not what I wanted to do. Now give me just one more moment. I'm working on it. I'm getting it. Oh, hold on. Almost there. Now if it actually wants to work. Yeah, I'm over here and I'm trying to make a window work. So, yeah. Yeah, you know, don't you love when things work out? Yeah, so do I. So that wasn't it. So let's try again. I'm trying to just add... I just, I just want to show a freaking window that shows a list. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is that to do? Jiminy Christmas. Alright, let me just... Yeah, you know what? Let me just... i will It's just easier, I guess, if I just say what I have old-wise. I have streams dating back to May 12th for what has not been uploaded yet. And my last stream was... Oh, great. I didn't update that either. Well, Jiminy Christmas. Let me open up a notepad. I mean, I'm doing a great job as it goes right here. You don't you know it. Okay, the last thing I did was, okay, I guess that was not updated. 
So the last thing I did was Secret of Mana on my own. So I need to get that added. You know, why am I doing this right now? Why am I doing that right now? I am so unfocused. But I try to be focused, so... I think I should probably just cut this off here for right now, but... I just want to feel like I can be motivated to do what I want to do, so... Here's just a little hello from today. So you know that I'm doing okay to a degree. And I may not always be the right person to go to for getting help, but I want to make sure that people do get helped. And I want to be able to know that people feel safe and open towards me because I want to be able to give off that type of aura so i think that's about it for what i have for this heart to heart so any comments questions concerns any connectivity it's all in the description or in the comments so i'm gonna still be on youtube i'll still do stuff but i think i just need to really be able to try and find a way to get myself into the energy of doing stuff for you to begin but I don't know. I'm just... I'm in, I'm hitting a hurdle. I'm hitting a wall. So, I'm going to try and get better. And I hope this is a good way to share my journey. So, it's step one. Start somewhere. So, you guys, if I don't see you, have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. See you guys next time. And, oh yeah, I'm going to make sure... Praise the purple. For she is the princess of friendship. And I hope we are good friends or can be friends in the future. So yes, thank you for watching and you know where to find me. I'm over here somewhere. I'm doing some stuff here and there. So thanks for watching. Love you. Heart.